What happens when your wish to Santa gets tossed out the window and you say you hate Christmas? Krampus visits you. What's up, movie fans? Uh, this is a unique film and a unique experience for me. Earlier today, I went and I saw Krampus at my local cinema. The story is very interesting. It's based off of an alpine folklore from several hundred years ago. A young boy is desperate to have this Christmas uh, be successful and positive. His family is kind of having some outs, you know. He, His older sisters now have a boyfriend and doesn't really want to spend time with him or the family anymore. Uh, his mom and dad are really awesome people, but they're kind of having their moments here and there. And then all of a sudden, he finds out his extended family is coming to visit for this Christmas. And they always, always bring the negativity with them. As well as some, I don't know, some casseroles. So he tears up his list. Tears up his letter to Santa after a barn burner of a, a melee at the local department store for their family photo. He's very upset, and little does he know, this action would ignite the flames of Krampus. Now, Krampus and his little minions, they come into this house, and they bring upon a blizzard for the area. Uh, this family is basically confined with no power, no electricity, <coughs> no YouTube, uh, and they have to figure out what to do. They have absolutely no clue what is going on. Well, actually, there seems to be somebody, maybe their noni, their grandma, she might know what's going on. I don't want to spoil the movie. But I will say that I was pleasantly surprised with this film. I honestly saw the initial trailers and it did not appeal to me whatsoever. But I said I'm going to give it a chance. There's nothing really playing at the theater that I wanted to see that I hadn't already seen. So I am very, very thankful that I went and saw this movie. Um, it is a dark horror comedy. Very reminiscent of like Gremlins and Gremlins 2, the new batch. Uh, it... <laughs> It's less Santa's sleigh and more gremlins. Um, very, very, very dark humor. I laughed out loud at several moments in this film. Uh, there's a line in the movie that really, really made my crowd laugh. And it was something to the effect, oh, I haven't been this hungover since uh, since the Pope died or something, something to that effect. It just cracked me up. It was out of nowhere. Um, this was done on a relatively small budget. Considering, as an example... Uh, Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 was done with like $240 million. This was done with a $15 million budget. In 2015, that is microscopic nowadays. That is hugely small, if that makes any sense. So it's a really small budget. Um, it's a good cast, a big cast in this movie. Are they going to live? Are they going to survive? Adam Scott finally doesn't play a dick in a movie. Like, it's crazy. He's actually playing... A good guy, and he's got a good relationship with his wife, played by Tony Collette. They they do really well. David Koechner um, and Allison Tolman. Um, Allison Tolman's character is the sister of Tony Collette's character, and they are definitely like, I got a gun. <laughs> I hate Democrats. They're just like goofy characteristic of you know hunters and stuff. It's pretty funny. They have. Uh, Manish twin daughters, who aren't twins, that really threw me off, because I thought they were twins. Spoiler alert. And you know, I looked at the credits, I couldn't believe it. Um, they've got a son who doesn't talk, uh, and they got a newborn baby. So it's pretty cool, um, this big cast. Um, there's a scene, like, probably 70% in, and they have, um, you get to, you get, like, an origin of one of the characters who knows Krampus. Uh, and it's done in an animated sequence. I would love to know how they did that. It was really, really good. Um, I like the pacing. It's done by the same guy who did Trick or Treat, Michael Doherty. I really need to give Trick or Treat a second viewing. 
Shout out to David if you're watching this. Um, you know, he wants me to check out Trick or Treat again, and I will. Um, but the movie's good. The pacing's really good. Um, I, I, I heard some mixed things on it. I, I went in thinking it was going to be just god-awful, and it was absolutely not god-awful. I give it a B. Um, there's some really funny moments in it. There's some really tense moments. Was I scared? No. But uh, I had a great time with it. Um, I like the creepy factors in it. And it's tense. For such a small budget, they did a great job. Really good cinematic moments in this film. Simple stuff goes a long way. I hope you guys check it out. Let me know what you guys think. I think we've got a cult classic over here, up in here. Please check out my other movie reviews. I have hundreds of movie reviews. I've seen thousands and thousands of films. Please refresh the video and click on any ads, commercials embedded in my videos. Absolutely helps me pay for these movie tickets and it is much appreciated. All the best to you and yours. Let me know what you think of the movie. Leave a comment. Have a great day.